Hey there, my name is Greg Lamb, the Small Biz Doer. This is Lesson 6 of Accounting 101, Balance Sheet and Profit and Loss Reports. The end game in accounting is to see how much money the business is worth and how much money is being made or lost. If we use the accounting equation cheat sheet to record our entries, we'll end up creating two reports that will tell us about the health of our business, the Balance Sheet Report and the Profit and Loss Report. So let's scroll on down to see them. The balance sheet is simply the balance of the asset, liability, and equity accounts. A balance sheet is actually a snapshot in time. It will tell us that as of a certain date, what our business is worth, which is our assets, and how that worth was achieved through borrowed money, which is liabilities, or money that was invested, made, or taken out of the business, which is equity. Looking at this balance sheet, we see that we have $7,000 in outstanding customer invoices owing to us, which is shown in accounts receivable. We have $8,425 in the bank and $100,000 tied up in our cafe. Looking at liabilities, we owe $3,100 on the credit card, $10,000 to shareholders, and have an $80,000 mortgage out on the cafe. And if we look at equity, we see that we only made $2,325 in net income, whereas we invested $20,000 into the business. So we see that all our assets were largely gained through borrowed or invested funds. The business has made very little money up until this point. Your profit and loss report is made up of your revenue and expense accounts. It shows your net income, which is your revenues minus expenses. Unlike the balance sheet, it is showing your net income for a certain period in time, whether it be a month or a year. At the end of a year, profit and loss resets itself and starts over again. That year in accounting is called the fiscal year. Sometimes it follows the calendar year, which is January 1st through December 31st, or other times it could be something like September 1st to August 31st, or any other one-year period that a business chooses to produce its financial statements within. So this profit and loss report is telling us exactly how we made money, through catering sales, and where we spend money, largely on costs of goods sold. When the profit and loss is reset, the net income is added to equity, and is called retained earnings. And retained earnings is a cumulative net income for all the years the company has been in business, minus dividends. In the accounting equation cheat sheet, we don't get so complicated as to have more than one fiscal year. There aren't any dates here, in case you haven't noticed. So if you look at the balance sheet, it says net income instead of retained earnings. But in this example, they both mean the same thing. If you use accounting software, you'll notice that instead of net income showing up on your balance sheet, it will probably be an account called retained earnings. Here's a recap of the keywords and concepts we just learned. Profit and loss report, balance sheet report, retained earnings, and fiscal year. In our next lesson, we'll do a quick review of the accounting equation cheat sheet, and I'll give you a few tips on how to use it. If you go to smallbusinessdoer.com, you can download this accounting equation cheat sheet, as well as do some exercises and quizzes. All right, I'm out of here. Catch you on the flip side.